Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Dave Haslam and uh, I will be showing you how to take better photographs and edit them. Um, if, if this is the first time you've been to my channel, please think about subscribing, click the button below. Um, it helps me build my channel. Well, we're going to be doing something quite different today. I'm going to be showing you how to try and recover a poor image using Lightroom. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you what we need to do. So here we are. Now this image was uh, taken at a place called Newman's Corner. It's a pretty poor image. I wasn't trying to take a really good image at this time. I was just playing around with the camera. So this was a raw image taken with a Canon EOS 6 uh, D Mark II and it's uh, 20 millimeters ISO 100 and it was F22 I think. I'm going to show you how we can recover this. I'm just going into the uh, edit mode here. Now the first thing we need to do is decide where we're going to start. Now my starting point is always looking at the highlights. So if we look at the bottom right hand corner over here, you'll see the highlights tab and I'm going to bring down the highlights completely to the left. That's minus 100%. Now you'll notice in the image, what it will do is it bring all the clouds out and give them a bit more punch. But in doing so, it also brings down the lightness in the foreground and the midground, making it a little bit darker. So the next thing we're gonna do is Try and bring back some of the shadows. So if we go over to the shadows tab on the right hand side, I'm going to bring that all the way back up and you'll see everything comes back again. So now we have even more punchy clouds and we have a bit more of the foreground and the mid ground. Now, of course, this image, I think I didn't really take much notice of the on, on the focus of it. So you'll notice it's slightly out of focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it look a little bit better just by bringing up some of the texture. Now, you may not be able to see too much of that, but what it does is it makes the texture kind of pop in the foreground. Now, as you can see, that already looks a little bit better. If we do a side by side comparison to where we started to where we are now, and this is only taking a few seconds you'll see that it looks a lot better. So let's go back to the image and let's do a little bit more to it. What else can we do to it? Now, if we notice in the distance, there is a little bit of haze. I'm going to pull the haze and that's going to make the image look a little bit darker again, but it's also going to bring back some of the areas in the center of the, uh, of the image. Now I've put on here plus 30 on the haze and that gives it a little bit more of a punch. I think what we'll play around with now is the vibrance. What a lot of people do is go over to the saturation and start playing around with that. The problem with the saturation is you can get too much color in it. And of course, on the adverse, pulling it all to the way to the left, you can remove all the color completely. So, so we're not gonna play around with the saturation. What we're going to do is play around with the vibrance. So with the colors that we've already got, we're gonna make them stand out a little bit more by using the vibrance. Just pull it up a little bit to the right and you'll notice the blues. Oh, it's a little bit too far there. The blues come out and that looks a lot better. Now, if we go back and have a look at a side-by-side -side comparison again. Now, doesn't that look a little better? So that's how you would recover an image. I'm going to go a little bit further with this. So let's go back into the image and I'm going to now go down to effects. I just like to put a little bit of a, a vignette around it. And this is what a vignette does. It's, it makes a circle around the image to give a bit of a focal point into the center of the image. Um, obviously that's too much. You can go the other way and it makes a light effect around the image. Of course, that's to your preference. Um, but I'm going to go just a slight vignette just so that you can see it and that brings your focus directing more into the middle of the image. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm going to leave it. So thank you for watching my video. And as always, if you did enjoy my video and you found it useful, please click on the subscribe button down below and it helps me build the channel.